Hey everybody, Mark Spector Comics, and I'm back. This time, I ended up going to the legendary Three Men in the Basement comic book crawl. And I came home with a small stack of books. If you're interested in seeing what I got, stay tuned for that intro. All right, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. Uh, like I said, ended up going to the legendary comic book crawl hosted by the three men in the basement. This time, changed it up. Uh, this one was kind of orchestrated by Dave Chinmo. Ended up uh, having it in Massachusetts and in New Hampshire. So there was four stops. Uh, you probably already saw it in one of the uh, clippings, but I'll add it in there. You'll see it. Um, the first comic book shop was in Hudson, New Hampshire. I did not go to that first shop just because it was a bit out of the way. Um, I think it was almost two hour drive and uh, early in the morning, I couldn't just get there that early. So uh, I ended up meeting up at the second shop, which was the first shop in Massachusetts. And um, <clears throat> after I got there, I talked to a bunch of the guys and they said that that first shop was awesome. Lots of great deals. The owner <laughs> was would have made it seem like he was just giving books away. So it was uh, unfortunate that I couldn't get to that shop. But uh, from what I saw from the other uh, people at the uh, other shops, they had some great books and got, got them at some great deals. So uh, uh, props to them. So ended up going to the second shop, which was Comically Speaking in Reading, Massachusetts, which is when I'm my home away from home in uh, Linfield, it's only like the next town over. Um, so I've been meaning to go to this shop for quite some time. Um, their hours kind of suck. Uh, they're usually closed at like 6 p.m. So I can't usually go there after work. So uh, I have not yet had the opportunity to go there up until uh, for the comic book crawl. So uh, when I got there a little after uh, noon, nobody was there. <laughs> the shop was open to everybody, but I talked to the owner shortly and uh, they were like, oh, they're out for lunch. They're down the street at the uh, at the pub. So I was like, oh, damn. Well, I already had lunch, you know, as you saw in the clip. Hey, everybody. Mark Spector Comics. And today we got something fun. We're going to be doing the uh, Massachusetts comic book crawl hosted by uh, three men in the basement. So I'm really excited to do this. Uh, I participated in last year's Connecticut comic crawl and had a blast. So uh, I'm excited to meet some new people today, excited to check out some new comic book shops. And uh, before we get going, of course we had to fuel up, right? So uh, what do I got? Got my Starbucks coffee and I got a sandwich. So uh, got about a little over an hour for the uh, first stop. So uh, i going to be cruising. So let's get to it. I was, you know, I had my little breakfast sandwich and coffee on the way up on the road. So uh, I was fueled up. I was ready to do some hunting. So uh, you guys can, you know, check out the clip there. All right, guys. So I finally made it here at the first stop. This is after about a little over an hour drive. So uh, we're going to be heading over to Comically Speaking, which is in Reading, Massachusetts. I've been uh, trying to go here for quite some time because um, I don't live too far from here, but the uh, hours are never really convenient for me. So uh, let's go inside and check it out and see who's here. Here we go, guys, comically speaking. Smells like somebody's burning through their tire rubber. Jeez, smells terrible over here. All right.
All right, so that was a cool spot, comically speaking, here in Reading, Massachusetts. I got there a little late. When I got there, none of the guys from the three men in the basement were there, so <laughs> that was pretty funny. I talked to the um, the shop owner. He was very nice. I, uh, you know, asked if I could record before I uh, recorded ahead of time, and um, tons, thousands of books there, tons of toys and statues, as you saw in the, in the video before. And um, what did I pick up? Well, I didn't find anything I liked. Um, I found the uh, prices to be a little high, even with the, uh, they gave us about a 10% discount. And, um, but I was helping out my buddy, Will. Um, he, unfortunately, him and Sean couldn't come last second. Something came up. So I know he's been working on his spawn, uh, finishing up his spawn run. I don't, I think he has like less than 25 books or so to find. So uh, I was digging through the spawn, um, the spawn bins and I uh, found some cool books. I even found some uh, spawn signed by uh, Capullo. So uh, I almost picked up one of those, but uh, I'm not currently collecting spawn, so it didn't really caught my eye. But I did find two books from my buddy Will, and uh, so I'm gonna show you what I picked up. There you go. A little bit of a glare, sorry. So it's a spawn issue number 150. So that was pretty cool find. And uh, also picked up Spawn issue number 151. So these are pretty tough books to find in the wild. Um, lower print counts. And uh, I know uh, Will's gonna love these. So uh, next time I see Will, uh, you'll get these books. All right, buddy? So uh, that was it for uh, Comically Speaking. I'm uh, getting ready to head over to the next spot, which is gonna be in Burlington. Another comic shop I have not been to. So I'm excited to go check that one out. A bunch of the guys are still at the pub right down the street, or they're either left and they're heading over to the next shop. So uh, let's go check that shop out. Um, he picked some great shops. So we went to his comic book shop, and uh, right off the bat, I didn't get enough a lot of footage in this shop because uh, I walk in and people were storming for the $3 short boxes, and they were like loaded, loaded with keys. So uh, <laughs> I'll show you the books that I ended up picking up at that shop. All right, guys, so we're at our second stop here. This is called Counterplay Comics, Collectibles and Cosplay. We're in Burlington, Massachusetts. Let's walk in and see what we can find. that's pretty cool so it's still I don't know if they got a slap for that thing. Yeah, they got a slap right inside one of the little ones. Uh, yeah, it's cool. I don't know, but that's a good book right there. And that was the uh, majority of the books that I bought was was um, from that shop. Uh, so uh, I'll show you what I got. And uh, there was one one book I got on the wall. It was like a small small key, but um, these were all from the uh, three dollar bins. And uh, people were getting key after key, and I was like, "There's some some good good key books there for three bucks." So people were like loading, loading up. So I picked up a few. I'll show you what I got. Um, first book, uh, Deadpool. Issue number 26. And um, 
This is the, uh, shoot, what's it? Is this the uh, first appearance of, I think, Mercedes? Is that Mercedes? I forget her name. Um, Deadpool's wife. So that was pretty cool. Uh, don't have too many of the uh, early Deadpool books. So um, I don't know. Thought that was a pretty cool book to pick up. Um, next book. I was kind of surprised this was in the uh, in that section too. But uh, it's an early book. I think this was from the mid 80s i'm not sure i forget 86 87 something like that this is uh donatello issue number one uh this is this you know donatello number one <laughs> uh i was like all right i do like the turtles um haven't had this issue before and i was kind of like surprised it was in the bin uh, i don't think it goes for much probably like five to ten bucks so it wasn't like a, like a huge huge deal but um you know it's you can't pass it up. It's number one and it's an older book. So I was like, yeah, no brainer. Um, this book I picked up, great cover. Uh, I don't think there's any key significance to it whatsoever, but I could be wrong. This is the uh, Silver Surfer issue number one. This is a real, real mini, mini, sh uh, mini uh, short, mini, mini series. Only two issues. So uh, one in a two issue limited series. Just call it a shorty. <laughs> instead of calling it a mini series um great cover art if not mistaken this is mobius artwork he did issue number one and two uh for this uh shorty and i just like the way uh, uh galactus and uh silver surfer are drawn in this really cool and this book i guess has picked up a little bit of steam of course because of all the uh speculation behind uh fantastic four so uh, but yeah Great, great book to pick up. I'll pick that book up all day. Um, next one, big fan of this character. I do have <clears throat> this character's first appearance. I bought it years ago. Um, read the issue, and then I got the uh, mini series after that. I think it was only, I want to say four issues. Um, but I, I read that, and I was like, oh, this is character's cool. It rem reminds me of uh, Deadpool. And uh, when you think of Deadpool... You know, when you think of this character, you think of Deadpool, they're both assassins. Uh, got a little bit of attitude, some spunk to him. And uh, this is his character's first appearance. This is New X-Men issue number 129. First appearance of the Upside Down Man. <laughs> nah, just kidding. This is the uh, first cover appearance of Phantom X. Really cool character. Um, I forget who write, who was writing the, uh, who was it, Morrison? Yeah. Morrison was writing it at the time. Uh, this was a good a good time period in uh, in X Men. It was uh, was this these issues right here. So uh, picked that up. Next book I was kind of surprised was in there for uh, three bucks as well. I do own this book, but I didn't own this book signed. And uh, this is Batman Dark Knight Falls issue number four. Classic Frank Miller, but uh, this one's signed by uh, Klaus Jensen. And um, uh, Murph, Mike was uh, busting my chops. He's like, oh, now you don't have to uh, drive all the way down to New Jersey for uh, KingsCon because uh, you already got the book signed because uh, he's going to be at uh, KingsCon this year. I was like, I'm not driving down to New Jersey. He's like, no way in hell. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's too long of a drive for me um, to go to a show, but that's just me. I complain, but yeah, I drive cross country sometimes for work. So I've done that before. Driven to Colorado and in Virginia and stuff like that but I was like I'm not going to New Jersey screw that so uh, I was happy to find that book in the uh in the three dollar short box uh bins like I said there were some cool books in there I got, I got another one um never owned this book as well nor the first print but this is uh New Mutants 87 and this is that gold second printing get the the black barcode there uh, blocked out this is first appearance of cable uh i'm gonna have to read this i've always wanted to uh read this issue of course um uh, drawn by the classic rob liefeld this is a rob liefeld and todd mcfarlane cover and uh obviously this book has been homage so many times um but yeah i was happy to pick that up in the three dollar bin um, next book was, uh, oh, got some more Deadpool books. 
Deadpool, Mark with a Mouth, issue number 12. I picked this was just a cover buy. Um, obviously, I'm sure we've seen this cover once or twice before on that classic album by Nirvana. You know, you see that? Yep. You see him chasing a taco in this one, though. <laughs> so I had to pick that up. This cover is done by uh, Arthur Sudam. And I think a bunch of the covers in this uh, series were done by him. And I picked up another one that was there. This is Deadpool. Uh, Mark with a mouth, issue number two. And this is that Jaws homage. Another cool one. So that was in those bins. And um, I picked up one wall book. Um, and this was the wall books. They already had some good discounts. Uh, out of all the stores, outside of the first shop in New Hampshire, which I didn't go, um, this uh, comic book shop had really good deals. The wall books were 30% off. So uh, they had this book listed for 10 bucks. So got it for seven with the discount and, uh, or seven ish, I forget. Um, and uh, it's not in high grade or anything, but it's a book that I've been, you know, collecting in the sort because I'm trying to pick up more Christmas, uh, Christmas covers, Christmas related books, you know, stories, so forth. And uh, I've I had this book in the past, just never, you know, jumped on. It was just too expensive, you know, 20, 30 bucks. I didn't want to spend that. But for under 10 bucks, I'll buy this book. So this is Michelangelo. Uh, Michelangelo, the Christmas special. I believe this is just a one shot. But uh, yeah, had to pick that up. Really cool. Happy to have this now in the collection. So uh, that was the um, second comic book shop. The third comic book shop, I took very little footage. I'll show that off. All right, guys. So... We're three of the four shops through. Just finished going through Counterplay Comics. That was actually in Burlington, Massachusetts. That's actually Chinmo's comic shop. And uh, really cool shop. Took a little bit of footage. Could have taken more, but I just didn't get a chance to because everyone was storming to those $3 bins. And uh, by the time I got there, a bunch of people had already attacked those bins. So I still got a chance to go in there. I picked up a few cool books. Can't wait to show you guys what I got. And then their wall books for 30% off. Did pick up a small wall book as well because I am collecting some more Christmas covers. So uh, I'll show you what I got in that one. Now we're off to the final shop. This one's about an hour or so drive, a little less. Picked up some, that's right, coffee again and a little snack for the road. Give me a little bit of energy for the last shop. We're going to Rubber Chicken Comics, one of my favorite comic shops in all of Massachusetts. Uh, it's in Bellingham, Mass. Closer to me, about a half an hour or so. And uh, this one closes at 6 p.m. So I got to get on the move. So off we go. Check it out. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. 
<laughs> now, this was from uh, Rubber Chicken Comics, a shop in Bellingham. I've been to this shop many times. This is outside of one other shop in Massachusetts. It's probably the closest comic book shop to me um, that I go to. And I don't go there often, but you know, when I do go to you know comic shops in, in the area, that's that's the one shop I usually target because they have such a wide variety of books, tons of new comic book day stuff, and then a good assortment of um, back issues and some good wall books as well. So uh, I was digging through the uh, back issue bins there with my buddy Carlos. He like raked it in. He had, he found some good books there for cover price. A lot of like Miles Morales. Uh, books there like key issues for like cover price which was really cool and uh, I ended up picking up one book um, there they weren't giving too many you know good discounts I think they were only doing like 10% so um, but I got this book for cover price so you can't go wrong with that this is more of a recent title um, I picked up some of the issues for this um, run and uh, read most of the title as well great great story but uh, this was cover price, and uh, this was Moon Knight issue number three. Um, whenever I see this book uh, for cover price or less, obviously I'm going to pick it up. This is a good spec, you know, good spec for Moon Knight. Uh, not that there's much going on for Moon Knight right now, but in the current title, there's a new Moon Knight. Uh, there's a new Moon Knight, and uh, we don't know who it is. Uh, at least we haven't found out yet. But um, this was one of the main characters in the previous Moon Knight title, and this is his first appearance. This is the uh, first appearance of the Hunter's Moon, as it says there on the cover. So, uh, and this is actually homage. It says uh, McNiven after Jay Lee. I don't recall which issue or which title uh, this is homaging, but uh, when it says that on the bottom, usually after somebody, it's homaged. But uh, yeah. Uh, great spec book to buy for cheap um, <coughs> if you're into that and if not no big deal at all um, but I always try to find those for cheap um, and then so those are the three comic book shops uh, those were all the books I ended up picking up we ended up going to dinner at uh, PJ's I think PJ's Tavern PJ's pub right down the road from the uh, from rubber chicken and uh, we all had some dinner there I'll show you the footage there as well and um, ended up doing some contest questions during the uh, dinner. Uh, just some questions thrown out by Dave and, and Otto and others. Just random trivia questions about the channel, about sports, whatever it may be. So I ended up winning one of the, um, the questions. I believe it was how many titles did the Montreal Canadiens uh, win? And uh, because Dave, Dave's a huge, not Dave, because uh, Roger is a huge um, Canadians fan. And and uh, so they had to throw in a, a hockey question, of course. And uh, I guessed that it was 24. So I ended up winning two comic books. And uh, these are the last two books I ended up getting for the night. And this was uh, Ghost Rider. I love this, uh, collecting these, uh, these books here, the Polybag books, the Midnight Suns books, one through six. I try to always pick them up uh, when they're cheap. And uh, and these I ended up winning for free, so uh, that was always fun. Uh, so issue number 28, the uh, direct and the uh, newsstand. So adding these again to uh, the pile, because I have a bunch of these now. But tons of first appearances, you know, first appearance of the uh, Midnight Suns more importantly, but there's other uh, first appearances in here if we get offhand. Like there's like three or four of them at least. Um, but yeah, and they come, you gotta make sure they come with the poster. There's a poster in there. So if it's polybag, the poster's still in there. <laughs> uh, they all came with posters. And um, that was really cool because uh, they were giving out some cool books as well. So I was happy to get that and some artwork as well. So, uh, so, so a bunch of people, you know, went home with some cool uh, goodies. So uh, that was the... Uh, Three Men in the Basement, Massachusetts comic book crawl. Uh, thanks for inviting me, guys. That was, I uh, had such a blast. Uh, met a bu bunch of new people, too, in the community. Um, 
you know, it's always, always fun to do these community building events. You know, a lot of people say there's no comic book community. And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. There's plenty of community out there. If you, uh, if you put in a little effort and uh, go out there and, and go do these events, you can, you can go out there and have fun, meet new people, you know, go to new comic book shops, tell some great stories and just have a great time. So, uh, much appreciative. Uh, thanks again for inviting me to the crawl. Hopefully I can uh, go to the next one. I know there's a comic book swap in, I believe, May. And uh, that sounds like a fun time as well. So uh, if you want to get more information on that, go on the Three Men in the Basements channel on Instagram and you can get all the details on that. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below, do all that fun stuff to help the channel grow. Until next time, Mark Spectre Comics.